Welcome Divine Masculine to your bi-monthly oracle card reading for your energy from the oracle of the feather crown tree. I am just really enchanted by the look of this spread. It has a cohesiveness and a calmness that I don't think I've seen before in a spread like this. Your crowning card that we'll end with is a repeat. So you've had this energy in the past, which is always, you know, a good sign when things repeat because it shows that they are significant and they want your attention. So I'm really uh, feeling kind of bubbly about what's going to come up here as, you know, my first sense is that this could be very uh, transforming for you. So we will start with your bottom row. This is your subconscious and the card on your left is your deep programming, what's in your DNA, you know, your ancestry that goes back as far as it can, how this is really affecting you now without you even knowing it. So here I see there are sort of like a shepherd and a herd vibe going on here. So there may have been leadership in your family history. You may be identifying with this right now, your ability to be a, a leader. But I am getting this message about, you know, what are you leading? Because if it's people, are you treating them like animals? Or are you treating them like an equal? Because this card is suggesting that this may not be the case, that they are not um, regarded for their humanness, but for their ability to work for you. And I also get this feeling that you're kind of hiding behind something too. There may be a way that you're presenting yourself in, in a mask, as you know we all have, that really is cloaking your true intention of maybe treating other people like this, you know. It doesn't feel like the people around you are necessarily hurt because of this. They don't feel all that aware of it, so there is a great deal of um, emphasis I want to put on this sort of masking quality that you may be presenting. Now, if you are actually working with animals, uh, you know, this may be part of what you do too. And this, again, could be a, a role of nurturing or leading, you know, caring for animals, especially the domesticated kind that are here to produce something uh, for us that it truly exists because of their ability to be productive. Okay, so I'm going to jump over now to the card beside it, and this is about your programming from your childhood and through the present moment of the things that going on, that go on in your reality that influence you, not because of nature but because of nurture. So I'm seeing a suggestion that you can kind of move into a different space that like the entry into it feels awkward. There doesn't seem to be much promise. What is beyond the entry is elusive. You are kind of unclear as to why, you know, what your motivation to even move through this would be. It doesn't, you know, tantalize or fascinate by any means. So you may find yourself kind of in a space now and needing to transition and not really understanding like the point of it or like why you should emote anything about it, what what there is beyond, you know, it, def it definitely doesn't hold the grass is greener vibe by any means. So 
you know, at least you're, you're not feeling, you know, this temptation in that way, you know, where you're trying to escape something because you're being seduced by the appearance, the illusion of something else. So, yeah, you just may be having a difficulty with the transition and really knowing the purpose and the, the point of it all, you know. Uh, the next card over is in the position of what you have suppressed because it was not accepted and that you can now reclaim as part of yourself because you no longer need to fear it or feel shame around it. And this could have to do with your productivity. It could have to do with your sexuality as well and really finding your mate, finding what truly is your counterpart and, and working with that and knowing that there's something really beautiful in that relationship of giving and taking between these two elements, that it makes your life productive and it gives you a sense of purpose and worthiness and it benefits not only the both of you, but it can, it provides the opportunity to be able to give to something beyond you in a way that's very healthy and, and nurturing. And what you may be attracted to could be something that you see as very beautiful and, you know, big in its beauty and has a sunny quality to it, has a happy quality to it, as well as uh, some innocence to it as well, and softness. And then your last card in this row is dealing with your repressed emotion. It seems that on the surface you are very well emotionally composed, like you have it all together, you understand your emotions, you feel like it, it's nothing's really a mystery. Yet there's something coming up, there's something in the distance that is not clarified at, at all that's going to be completely different and not attached to how you feel right now. So you may be in a really good period right now where you're, you're feeling, you're feeling good. You're feeling better than good. And it may be really helping you shine. And, you know, that's absolutely beautiful, but just be prepared that there could be something emerging that's going to need your attention and it's going to need to get clarified. Okay, now I'm going to go a couple of rows up and we're going to look at your super conscious and energies that you have access to that can really help enlighten you. There is a strong need to really wear your passion and wear your creativity and this is what will keep you in a position that's, I don't want to say above others, but it will, it can keep you in a higher position. And you may also be bringing the light to other people, you know, helping them see a little bit more. You may be the source of some sort of knowledge, especially if it's spiritual in nature. And I don't see you, you know, looking down on others, but there is, in a way that's bad, there is an acknowledgement that there may be people that need your help that see you as a role model. And the card next to it, let's have a look at this. This one's pretty outstanding, you know, it's really speaking, it's kind of got that same energy, like you're not um, con being conceited or anything, but you're really sitting in your power and you're, you're comfortable there, like you, 
you know that you can be a strong performer, that you have a lot to bring, you have a lot of wisdom, you have a lot of knowledge that you've gained, and you understand what that is, you know, it's not like it's all over the place and it needs further investigation, you really are a self-contained presence. And that seems to bring you a sense of dignity. And you could be being admired for that. And being able to be in touch with the, the qualities that allow you to sit in your power in, in a way that's soft and quiet. And yet has hints of... I don't want to say like threats and fears, but it it shows that you're you're powerful and that you can be fierce, that you can strike if need be, but you're not choosing to do that in a way that wouldn't make sense. Like you have the resources to use if you need to defend yourself, basically, but you're you're not feeling threatened right now. I do see that you also are acknowledging that there's something beyond you that you're connected to that can help, that helps you, you know, that there's a higher power that gives you your spiritual truth and has helped you develop to where you are right now. Now I'm going to go down one row and on the right, this card is going to represent the energies that you're really holding. So this whole row is about how you can integrate the subconscious and the superconscious and how this is going to become present in your day-to-day -day reality. So there's something about you walking kind of joyfully, but in a way where you're distracted by something higher than you. Like you are doing what you need to do. You're, you're being a source of inspiration. You're being a source of fun, of pleasure, of joy, of freedom. Yet for yourself, you are, are focused on something higher, a, a greater ideal. Yet you're able to give in this realm as you need to, you know, as you are at your best while you, you seek to become more. In your center card here, the, the circular card, this is going to be your position of your psyche. And this is a very intricate message. So again, I see there, there's this, uh, this energy that can be used to be seductive. It can be used to be harmful. And It can ennoble you if really used correctly. It can give you a lot of power and authority. Yet there's something about impermanence with it or the, the path that it has been on has maybe caused some harm, has caused some endings because it's been misused. And it could have been used to hurt multiple people because it's a tricky energy. And without really having mastery over it, it it's just, it's so delicate that it can, it can, it can flip into a hazard all too easily. So you may be understanding here that as we've seen in a few other cards, that there is a need for more self-mastery. And you could be reaching out to this, or you could be acknowledging that there is an offer to help you. There, there is some sort of resource here that you can get something from, should you need it. And 
that which you are, you know, protecting with this energy and really going after and trying to claim with this energy could be the wrong goal altogether. There could be something much more brilliant, much more magnificent that you are not even noticing or you're just maybe turning a corner and catching a glimpse of. And you may be acknowledging that, yes, you, you may need a helping hand to navigate towards this next best thing. So in the next card over, we are going to be talking here about your behavior that you can enact that integrates the energies. And I see you kind of in a choosing to go into an area because it's beautiful, but doesn't necessarily feel good. And even though it doesn't necessarily feel good on a physical level, it could be really transformative for you on a neurological level and have a health benefit for you ultimately physically that seems immediately that it would actually be harmful. And this seems really necessary to help you build more strength, help you know your resilience, help you know that you can stretch your boundaries a little bit more about your comfort zone. And because of that, it will make you a better person. So I encourage you to go into an uncomfortable space this week and not so much deal with confronting yourself here in this space, but confronting the space itself and dealing with what comes of it. You know, what is in that environment that needs you to confront it and you will grow. You will gain something here. You will gain more insight by doing this. And then we're going to look here at this crowning card, which is from the Kama Sutra deck. And this really talks about the, the female and the male energies in union. So I did mention that I've seen this one come up for you. Um, again, when I look at it, I see you really giving to something. And you may be drawn to give to it because there's so much opportunity for this to give back to you. This is a resource that is very full. It's very lush. It, it's very, it has what you need that you cannot provide for yourself. It has an abundance in, in an energy that you yourself cannot possess, but you can just be in the presence of. And you feel, it, it's not like you're doing this in a selfish way. I mean, you truly enjoy giving pleasure to this other energy because you acknowledge the union that it creates. There's something about the union itself that's more important than the needs of the individuals in the union. And the female energy is looking at something that felt barren and harsh in the past. And, you know, as if there was no opportunity there, that everything was at a loss, you know, it was... It just, it couldn't produce anything. And there's something behind her that she doesn't realize that could be very productive. She's getting close to it, but she doesn't see it yet because she is very much focused on what, you know, I don't want to say like the negative, but it would be like through her experience, you know, like, what she knows something to be because she's seen it. She's witnessed this and what she hasn't witnessed yet has 
great potential and it even has, um, you know, like, I almost want to say like a child could come of this or uh, something that could be created that's playful, that's sweet, that's innocent, that is the beginning of something that could grow. So it could just be the relationship itself is, you know, being born. And there is just like a blissful joy about it. It's so darling. So that is where I'm going to end this reading. And I want to thank you for joining me for it. Please do check out the Divine Feminine as well. And join me again for any of my other readings if you can. So take care, you guys.